Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome cakes. And if it's the first time tuning in, you're most definitely welcome on this channel for Cosm Fashion Skincare and Lifestyle. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and comment down below if you've enjoyed this video. Today it's a feminine video feminine hygiene video i'll be sh sharing what has worked for me for the past 10 years these are the tips and tricks that i have shared with my loved ones i've shared with friends and they love them so guys i am not a doctor i am not a, a, a nurse or some sort of medical expert but everything that i'll share today is 100 percent um what has worked for me it might not have worked for you so if it has not worked for you tell us what has worked for you so that we interact and we share these things i believe in conversations as women especially about our feminine hygiene because as female we need so much and some things we can just reach and you don't really have to go to the doctor so this video is all about things that you can easily reach some of them probably you already have in your kitchen, in your bathroom. So yeah, let's just get into it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below if you've enjoyed this video. And yeah, share my content, guys. And let's just get right into it. So ladies, ladies, you know how we struggle with thrust. We, we struggle a lot with a rash here and there yeast infections blood infections like if the list goes on and some things i've had i've learned from other females being um the elders others are just my peer groups where as girlfriend we like to talk about such issues i think when we have such conversations and women we can just hold each other's hand and sort each other out in a very easy way so i've been doing this for the past 10 years guys and it has worked i hardly have thrush i hardly have yeast infection i hardly have um some sort of um like bacteria or imbalance of my female area or you know that female area is very sensitive it, it needs some tender loving care and this has helped me not to have any so, sort of smell or anything. I have a yoni video that I even stated in my yoni video that guys, I don't have hectic period pains or thrush or yeast infections and there, this and that. So please take my advice with a pinch of salt, right? So, number one, using fragrance-free soap to bath, shower, or to bath, oh, to bath or to shower, right? So my favorite personal soaps that I use are fragrance-free. I don't buy soaps that have fragrance because of the. I tend to have some sort of itchiness when I use something that has fragrance or some discomfort. Do you get what I'm saying? So I try to reach for soaps that don't have fragrance in them. So my favorite that has a bit of scent, but it has that, not that fragrance, Yagona, it's like perfume. You know, it has that soapy, but fragrance-free smell is the Dove Original Soap. The one that has blue um, and white packaging. The original one before the Shea Butter, Coconut and whatever coconut milk those other fragrance came into the, the, the play so i love this stuff so i've shared it with my girlfriends they've been using it for years and it helped them a lot even my sister i've shared with her she tries to go to it at times and she loves it and she she's one person that complains a lot with maybe smell not in her female area specifically but around her body a skin like she doesn't pour perfume on her skin it it gives her some 
smell that she does not like or discomfort it took her years to actually fall in love with having perfume on her skin because of that particular poop. the second one that i turn to use most of the time is the sunlight queen bar soap the original one that we all know before the one that has fragrance came in the picture this original green bar soap has helped me a lot a lot 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 lot, lot. even where in days where i feel like ish i i'm not feeling okay i bath with it when i say bath with these products guys i don't mean like directly putting it on your, your inside your yoni and you're busy washing it that area is very sensitive so you can't be putting um products inside because some it, it automatically cleans itself and sometimes when you have that thrush and whatever it's all it's fighting for the body it's saying i don't want this i'm taking it out right so i would bath with it so when you're bathing automatically especially when you wash your female area like on top here or in between your thighs the soap will probably just a little bit go in so using that fragrance free soap does help the the whatever product that goes in a bit it's not it will not harm you a lot you know so i use that green bar soap and the other soaps that i use is the johnson and johnson the one that has no fragrance in they there is a lot there's the one that does not have fragrance that is the one that i usually go for if i want something that is moisturizing because the sunlight green bar soap can be very drying you understand so i have dry skin so when i when i feel like i want something that moisturizing on my skin i would go for the johnson and johnson uh soap or the purity one but the one that they don't have fragrance or some baby oil fragrance and stuff like that i don't like those ones i just like the one that is pure and even the dark soap I that i like to use is the pure glycerine soap um the pure soap is let me get it okay yeah so this is the pure soap that i'm talking about this soap is amazing for people who have eczema or who have skin irritations on on the on the uh, on the body the soap is fragrance and color free and you can get it in most um stores and grocery markets and also chemists also use it on my face when i want moisturization let me say my gentle cleanser is finished i do go for this soap because it's not too drying but it's clarifying so i'm not making sense because the black soap sometimes can be too harsh on my skin and the other soap that has worked for my sister like this soap has worked so much for my sister it works for my face a lot i hardly wash it i only use it for my armpits and i use it for my inner thighs and my female area guess what my female area when i looked at her in december if you have not watched that video please go watch my waxing video it was hilarious i was not happy with the girl i was like who are you like a frog you know a, fro a frog how it looks I was like no girl she was too dark she had hyperpigmentation guys it's normal to have hyperpigmentation in between your thighs and that female area and your thighs other people just have it because of the genes or the skin condition other people have it because of the razor it, i think me it was because of the razor i'm part of the old school gang we used to use razors religiously we didn't know anything about waxing i had my first wax when i was in metric did my first wax i remember how excited i was it was for my metric farewell and yeah so that was the first experience of the wax so my armpits were so my armpits were dark she was dark we were we were i was like uh, 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 i'm not liking it but now it's much much better so that hyperpigmentation can be caused by skin that is not being released like dead skin is just there it's sitting the oils that you put on your body and stuff like that that will bring the hyperpigmentation so it was my case you know? so i use the soap here and there just on top not inside you know? on top here and in between myself the african black soap i use the juju asan because there's a million of those african black soap so i use the juju asan i resell it from south africa if you want it a bar is nine chirens and it's 150 grams it will last you for a long time that is a clarifying and exfoliating um 
soap so my sister also baths her body with it so if you sometimes feel like you had sunburn or you had maybe scarring i think there's the other thing oh my goodness load shedding let me switch on the light yeah load shedding guys so i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see me because i really want to record this video and the sun is not at, we have trees in front of our, our my window so it will be pretty useless but i put on that slope like this whole load shedding thing is annoying but anyway the african black soap african black soap by Dudu Asan really help me you can bath the entire body with it in most cases just don't put it inside it will help you if you have a bit of a smell but don't put it inside maybe wash your body with it but not your pandas right and the other tip that i would say thoroughly thoroughly and gently rinse her she loves water she likes to be moisturized she likes to be uh, she likes being um taken care of so make sure that you just rinse come the fella with your water just the scoop rinse 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 even after washing my legs like because some of the soap does get into my female area i just thoroughly just rinse her and she's always i think i'm going to change my setting guys sorry but yeah i think this will work for me now because i'll then use the what's the slopes that you can switch on when you don't have electricity those clothes that after wiping my entire body with my with my cloth or the slap face cloth <laughs> i i just wipe her and i rinse my slap again and then I, I i i wipe it gently i'm very gentle when it comes to my human area because i did have a, a thrush before it was not a good feeling i know that she doesn't like soap i've had instances where i felt like maybe i was too harsh and probably there was a bit of tearing there is nothing as painful as, tear as tearing so if you have tearing a, a tip make sure just put vaseline not the one that has fragrance the blue seal one that has no fragrance apply it there and you will see it has worked for the girl so maybe it will work for you what how do, how do we know let's try it right my favorite soak and relaxation products right so i like relaxing every saturday morning after my jog i have my self-care saturday relaxation moment i don't miss her at all i make sure that i always have that moment because that's where i have a bit of self-reflection i get to relax because i'm i'm a person who's who so I have never went to the doctor and they diagnosed me with it but I've noticed with my patterns that I have anxiety I like to overthink things I like like literally when I open I was telling my girlfriend this one of my my, my friends um, from primary school and I was telling her well, you know what friend um, the, when I wake up in the morning I already think I have to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 you know so this has made sure i listen to my old school r&b music and i relax i scrub my entire body with coffee and charcoal scrub that you can buy from me as well and it has vitamin e literally from my head to my to my feet i've shared it so many times on my instagram please please follow me and you'll be able to see those moments and probably inspire you to say ah, let me just let me get down and just love this beautiful body. So, Dr. Tears I, products. So, I bought it here. These are the products that I use whenever I want to fully relax. I don't know if you guys can. Now I have. Yeah, okay. Dr. Tears products you can get at Discam. And I use the Epsom salt as well if I want to relax and just have if like every Saturday I want to relax and soak my body because I work out it was a hectic time you know you don't have time to 
take a bath i like taking a shower and getting over getting it over and done with so dr till's products were are very gentle with me i'm able to use a bathroom before i would use bathrooms and i would have irritation mind you there's people who can use fragrance or scented bathrooms and they don't have any reaction my mom is one of those my mom has sensitive skin but she's able to bath with fragrance um bath foam and she is religious about it and she doesn't have, doesn't have any form of irritation dr till's products do moisturize and they don't leave me feeling like oh my goodness i have some such sort of minor sometimes it's not a full um infection it's just your it's fighting that i want this thing out and this has honestly i don't want to lie this has actually helped me i also use the epsom salt as well generously uh, i put maybe two scoops of my hand inside and i sprinkle it and i just relax i'm able to relax for like 30 minutes but because i have low light pressure i make sure if i want to relax longer my water is not too hot because i become dizzy and i feel like i'm gonna faint very light headed so i make sure that i don't soak my body for too long so this is a girl that she thinks she is this one i don't know is it rita 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 r i don't know the name it's the same brand that does the pure soap um this you can get from discam and clicks and it is also color fragrance and per preservative free i also love the one that has what's this vitamin e inside um it's very moisturizing if you also have sensitive skin it will help you a lot and it does have the bit of that foam and you feel after washing with these products um you do feel your skin is moisturized and sorry and your female area will not feel some sort of itch or discomfort right that that discomfort we all hate right and the other product is the original epsom salt i've shared it in my self-care routine if i don't have the dr seal uh, dr teals or i don't have any epsom salt that is branded i use the original one from my kitchen just be generous about it and you will feel your muscle and just having that soak i think it it helps some sort of way probably it helps it as well to just relax the original epsom salt has been the key for me even for my armpits as i said that sometimes um <laughs> sometimes you feel like you want to just detox your armpits you can also use that epsom salt and just scrub your armpits and the other product that i use also from my kitchen is pure salt pure salt will also help if you want to soak your body and you want to soak your your mind and just be in the moment